dude, you guys need to check out Goliath. What's going on everybody? This is Paul. We're in front of the saltwater tank today. We got an epic video coming your way. I am buying my first coral in this video. It has been a long time coming. If you're fans of fish videos, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Without further ado, let's go to the store. All right, everybody. So today we are at the Premium Aquarium in Salem, Oregon, checking out their stock. So just checking out some of their frag tanks. And we're coming up to an anemone with a clownfish. It is absolutely awesome to see a clownfish and anemone together. It's a very cool pairing. We all know that. Checking out the green coral, super awesome. Love, love the coral. We got some candy cane coral there, it looks like. We got some cleaner shrimp, also known as skunk shrimp. Coming around the corner here, we got some more coral inside these tanks. Now, what you're about to see is going to blow your mind. This is Goliath, a massive, massive hermit crab. I mean, oh my goodness. To put it into perspective, here is my old hermit crab that, from what I can tell, is the same thing. Look at how small mine is. Those cubes are one by one. This guy has got to be the size of a softball. I mean, it blew my mind. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those squares were one by one or so, so you can definitely tell the difference in size. You can see here there are some gorgeous, gorgeous coral in this section of the store. Definitely cool when you have the coral and then you got your inverts like snails, hermit crabs, and shrimp and things like that in the tank doing their thing to help keep the system clean. Here's some coral in their display tank. Now we're back onto the other side of the store where they have a bunch of frags. These are $30 frags and the ones on the left are $20 frags. So this is gonna be more of the section of what I'm gonna be going for as some tester corals. Now again, look at these. I mean, these are just beautiful. Can't get enough of these stunning pieces of coral. Absolutely beautiful Euphilia, definitely one of my favorite corals, and I can't wait to start getting some torches and hammers and things like that. Some more awesome stuff. You could see some snails and things like that inside the tank. More frags. Look at the green. It's like neon. It's so awesome. There's a like pipe fish or dragon fish in the back. You can see just all the awesomeness, an ocean in someone's uh, facility. It's super cool. All right, so now let's check out these scolies. They're just so beautiful. The color is stunning. And of course, the gold torch. So this is one of the tanks that is in the store. Um, it's a mixed tank with some, looks like soft corals and things like that in there. Possibly some LPS. Look at the size of that fish. Massive. So now let's take a look at the fish that they have because you can't go to a fish store without checking out the fish. So we got some beautiful flame angels. We got um, a powder blue tang right here. Definitely an awesome fish. Definitely prone to getting sick. So um, definitely need to take precaution when getting one of those. Beautiful wrasse in the back. Just, just some stunning stuff. I mean, the rat. Okay, look at this. Look at this wrasse. I think that is beautiful with the black and white and red. And, and it looks like it's got spots all over it. Just an awesome, awesome saltwater fish. So let's go ahead and go down the line a little bit. Look at this guy. A beautiful angel fish. Dwarf angel. Just a stunner some cardinal fish, just a mixture of a whole bunch of different things, some antheus, another angelfish there, some damsels back at the flame angel, coral beauty right there with some orchid dotty backs, some yellow tangs, 
Look at this angel fish right here. This is not a dwarf angel on the right side. Definitely a beautiful specimen. Not something I would put in a coral tank for sure, but it's beautiful. Then you got that uh, bristle tooth tang right there with the orange tips on its fins. These guys right here are pretty cool. They're like a, almost like a poor man's um, Moorish idol. Here is a Harlequin tusk, definitely a fish that if I ever get big saltwater fish, uh, this would be a fish that I definitely would like to get. They look super cool. And of course, one of my favorite fish, the Moorish idol. Stunning, beautiful specimen. All right, everyone, we are back with the first coral I've ever purchased. We got our container, Revive for dipping. Got our little tweezers, gloves, and uh, let's check it out. So this says four capfuls for a gallon of water. So on these uh, little paint mixer deals or all purpose containers, it's got the ounces on here. So I know filled up to 32 ounces is a quarter of a gallon. So one capful for that. Gonna go ahead and get our cap full in there now. There we go. Go ahead and give this a little stir. So basically now what we do is just let these sit in here for a little while, 15 minutes. Uh, you could come and shake them every once in a while. Uh, you could even get a turkey baster and hit it up with a turkey baster. But uh, we're going to see what all comes off this coral. Okay, everyone, so it has been 15 minutes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and scrub these. I picked up a denture brush because it's a lot firmer than your normal toothbrush. Um, we got some new plugs, bone cutters, all that good stuff. So let's go and give these guys a little swirl. Now, the reason why I'm doing a new plug is because you never know what's gonna be on these plugs. Yeah, so what I did was with the denture brush, just scrub as much of the skeleton structure as I could just to try to make sure I got everything I can get. Likely I left stuff on there that I didn't uh, see or couldn't get with the scrub brush, but I just wanted to go the extra mile. What I'm gonna do is break the plug off like that so it didn't need the bone cutters. Go ahead and give that a scrub. I'm gonna dip it in some fresh salt water to just get some of the solution off. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and use some of this super glue gel. Okay, so they are ready to go. Let's get them in the tank. All right, let's do it. Now this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Look at the coral eat the pellets. There's one on each head and you can see the coral opening up to take the food. Very soon I have some epic coral coming from a local hobbyist who's breaking their fish tank down. So you're definitely gonna wanna subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get the notification when that video comes out. I tell you, one of these pieces of coral is absolutely amazing. And I cannot wait to get it and share it with you guys. Also have a fish coming from them. So that would be awesome if you guys can subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can check out that video when it comes out. Now as far as this video is concerned, if you could give it a like and share, that would be great. And also if you could comment down below in the comment section what you guys think of the new coral that we got here. To test the tank, my first two corals. I would love to read your guys' comments and respond to them. So, yep, my voice is still messed up. I'm um, hoping that uh, you guys enjoyed this video. 
and I hope I'll see you guys all in the next one. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Stay tanked.